friends, today I'm going to show you how we make our delicious Waldorf bread. You will need some whole wheat flour, some white flour, I'm just using all purpose flour, some honey, some yeast, and some olive oil and some warm water. I boiled this kettle about an hour ago and the water is nice and warm, but usually I will pour one cup of hot water and one cup of cold water and just keep adding until it's nice and warm. You don't want it to be too hot. And then I add a tablespoon of honey. I'm going to say that's a tablespoon. I'm going to put all the honey in the water. Sometimes when I'm just waiting for the honey, I'll just put the lid on and let it all drip to the bottom. Stir in the honey. And then add your active dry yeast. And then we want to leave this for about 10 minutes just to get nice and bubbly before we add the flour. All right, now we've left that to bubble away for about 10 minutes. I did add the remaining honey. Get yourself another cup of um, cold water and we want to add the other ingredients. I forgot to mention you also need some salt and I do just guesstimate about two teaspoons worth of salt. There you go. That will do. And then you also want a quarter of a cup of olive oil as well. then you want to add the flour. So aim for three cups of white, three cups of brown, but you may need to add a little more as you go. So I'm going to add one, two, and three of my whole cup, and one, two, three of my white flour, and stir it all together. Just add a little more water. All right, now the children, when I do this with the children, the children measure out the flour for me. They can measure out the water. They can measure out the oil. And I do have a little tip. If you're going to measure out honey, if you put oil in the spoon first, then it makes it really easy to glide out. All right, this looks nice and sticky. Now you want to begin kneading it together. So sprinkle a nice clean surface of water. Oh, not water, <laughs> flour, my goodness. And you can add um, raisins, cinnamon, we like to do, but today I am actually going to put quinoa in because I have some leftover quinoa and it's just a nice way to um, use it up. I'm just going to use up this quinoa. I don't need it in. Now, the children love to do this part. You may need to just keep adding flour if it gets really sticky. And with the children, sometimes I just break pieces off for them so they can all just knead it together and then we bring it all back together. And I sing a little song with them and we sing, this is the way we Knead the dough, knead the dough, knead the dough. This is the way we knead 
the dough so early in the morning. This is the way we pat the dough, pat the dough, pat the dough. This is the way we pat the dough so early in the morning. This is the way we poke the dough, poke the dough, poke the dough. This is the way we poke the dough, so early in the morning. This is the way we shape the dough, shape the dough, shape the dough. This is the way we shape the dough, so early in the morning. All right, and then we bring the dough back together if you've broken little pieces off. And then we want to put it back in the bowl and then get a nice thin cloth or tea towel and rinse it under warm water and really rinse the water out. Okay, so I have my nice damp cloth that I am going to place over. I'm going to leave it in a nice warm place for an hour and let it rise. All right, now let's check. That should have doubled in size. And then you want to um, put some more flour down on a clean surface. And we want to knead it again. And I, so you could just put flour in front of the children and break off a little ball and they can they can do it with you and I also when I bake this I use it to make bread rolls for the children's after nap snack and I also refrigerate it and the next day is pizza day and I roll this out for the pizza. And if you make too much, this actually also freezes really well. I just take what I need and if you wrap it in cling film, also you Americans call it plastic wrap. Saran wrap. Saran wrap, thank you Mr. Cho and then you can put it in a freezer bag and it, it freezes nicely. You just take it out, let it defrost, and then you're ready to knead it and bake. Again, you can sing little songs, nursery rhymes. Um, when we do this with the children, they all make different shapes. All right, so this looks like it's nice and ready. As it's just Mr. Cho and myself, I'm just going to make two little bread rolls for us. So you can make any shape you want. I'm just going to do a little round bun and put it on a tray with some baking paper. Sorry, I'm completely blanking on the name of this. <laughs> this, this stuff. <laughs> and voila. Uh, preheat the oven to 375 Fahrenheit and bake for 20 minutes. You can also bake a loaf of bread. <laughs> Daisy Lou smells the bread. It smells good, huh, Daisy Lou? Um, you can put it in a loaf tin as well and you want to bake that for about 55 minutes. But I'm just baking these buns, so we are ready to put this in the oven. All right, friends, it smells really good in here. Let's take it out the oven. Mm -hmm. Looks. They look good. You can enjoy. I love to put butter and honey on mine. You can put whatever you want on yours. All right, friends, I hope that you enjoy. I'll see you next time. <laughs>